If you haven't already seen, Foxconn are back. They recently launched a wave of mainstream boards for AM3 socket and 1155. But until now, we haven't seen anything that's really above that mainstream segment. But finally, we've got something that's going to satisfy the uh, enthusiast, the extreme level. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at a board that features inside the Quantum 4 series. This is called the Rattler. And this is 1155 socket, so it's going to have um, support for Intel 6 series. And uh, this is the Intel P67 chipset. So this brings in serial ATA 6G. Uh, you've got USB 3. Um, there's onboard power buttons on this. So we've got uh, onboard power and reset. We've got a dual BIOS. We've also got some uh, onboard overclocking buttons. Uh, which you'll typically see on some of the higher end boards from MSI, Gigabyte. Um, so that's good to see that we've got these, uh, these features. We've also got Crossfire support. And we've also got 12 phase power design around the CPU. So we're going to anticipate some good overclocking ability on this board. Um, so as usual, what I'll do is I'll take you on a quick tour of the individual components. And then um, I'll put this on the test bench. And then I'm going to show you the results in a full article along with uh, my conclusion, my verdict on the actual board and any awards if it picks up any, so stick with us. Okay, so to start with, we'll look at the packaging. This is the Rattler box. Uh, I'm not sure what the target audience is here, uh, what they're trying to market this at, but um, it reminds me of uh, Hot Wheels, you know, the, the font and um, the, the graphics and the cars and things like that so uh, I'm not sure really what they're trying to get at with this but um, anyway onto the back we've got the main features such as twin BIOS the overclocking buttons uh, crossfire support um, you've got the LED indicator on there as well for for debug uh, serial ATA 6G support USB 3 and it also goes into the phase power and why um, it's good to have so many phase powers on there for efficiency and overclocking um, for the headroom and things like that. So, uh, onto the actual box inside, we've got some uh, some of the accessories here. Um, we've got two cables for 6G and uh, three cables for the 3G. Age old IDE cable here, which is because uh, we've got an IDE slot on the board. Molex to serial ATA, we've got two of those. The uh, the USB bracket, USB 2 bracket, um, and there's two sockets there for, uh, for going onto the motherboard headers. Uh, we've got the driver disc. We've got the user manual for, um, for you know, the finer details quick start guide and of course the input output panel for the motherboard just fitting that into your case okay so here's our rattler board as you can see it's a very nice looking board we've got the black and red accents throughout the memory slots the PCI Express serial ATA USB a lot of people like this color scheme so it's going to be it's going to be a popular one I reckon the uh, the phase power here we've got 12 phase power design as I've already said around the CPU socket of course this is 1155 so this is going to take all your Intel 6 series chips I've actually got an Intel i5 2500K installed in here so this has got the unlocked multiplier so I'm going to be able to overclock with this and ideally really this board is suitable for the K series chip because with it being above the mainstream segment, um, it's going to be ideal for those looking to overclock. So you want really to stick in a K-series chip. On the other side of our Quantum Force heat sinks there, we've got the 8-pin power for EATX. And moving over to the memory side of things, we've got the, as expected, dual channel for Sandy Bridge. And this is going to take up to 16 gig of memory. We can go from 1066 megahertz all the way up to 2133, which is of course overclocked. We've got there the 24 pin power and the overclock buttons, which I mentioned in the introduction. The 
Foxconn have done well to include an LED debug on the board. This just helps to diagnose any problems on the post. We've also got an odd feature. Uh, we've got an ID slot on this board. I was aware that they were phasing this out and I've not actually seen this slot for a long time so that is a very odd one because you know ID is old, it's slow and not very many people still use it so that is an odd one. But moving next to that we've got the serial ATA ports. We've got uh, two 6G ports which are the red and four 3G ports. Down at the bottom of the board we've got three headers for USB 2. That gives us access to eight ports and then we've got a further six ports on the input output panel. We've got two PCI Express 2.0 slots which are 16 times. If we use a dual card configuration though that's going to drop down to eight times. And we've also got the, the black slots which are three PCI Express 2.0s which are one times. And at the very bottom, one of those legacy PCI slots, which you know you can use for older cards like your sound card and things like that. Okay, looking at the input output panel on the Rattler board, we've got from left to right the PS2 keyboard port. We've got two USB 2 ports, clear CMOS button. We've got SPDIF audio for coaxial and optical. We've got the 1394 port two USB 2 ports, we have dual gigabit LAN and beneath the first slot there we've got two USB 2 ports and beneath the second we have in the blue colour two USB 3 ports. Next to this we have two eSATA ports and then we have the six audio jacks for surround sound. Right guys well that concludes our video preview of the Foxconn Rattler. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen in this video. Hopefully it's given you a flavour for this new board, giving you the close-up tour that you wanted. Uh, basically the board's ready now to go onto the test bench, so what I'll do now is I'll go away, I'll put it through its paces in the extensive benchmarks that we run. I'll uh, report back on overclocking, uh, whether it's good value for money and things like that. So keep a look out for the full article. I'll pop the link in the description of this video when it's, uh, when it's up and online. So thanks very much for watching guys, please comment, rate and subscribe and keep a lookout for more videos coming soon.